there's two types of way of approaching contemporary projects and projects like this. The first one is cheap and cheerful, band-aid, and maybe a suboptimal result. But when you're building strategic long-term capability, it's not about price, it's about capability. It's about the value and it's about the thought leadership. Fletcher Tech is the one-stop shop for all technology needs for the Fletcher Group of Companies across Australia and New Zealand, 15,000 employees and over 200 sites. It is a portfolio business, a number of different businesses that are in there and each of them have different motivations and different outcomes they're chasing. Well, the, it was very clear that the business problem for Fletcher's is that because we're 30 companies, we're all siloed. And so the challenge was to become more customer centric, take data from all those business units, put them into the center to be shared and to gain insights, but at the same time, preserving the integrity of their own data hubs. And as I often say to the executive committee and the business units, data is the new oil for this century. We know the direction we want to go in and we've got a, a high level roadmap on how we want to get there but then I've got to try and get the teams aligned to be able to enable that roadmap. We needed to get partners who could build and cleverly design this. We also needed people who helped us do the architecture and design, which is where Cognizant came in. I need to have experienced people. I need to have smart people, but I also need to take the breadth of global learnings and deploy them locally in the Australian and New Zealand market. When we're selecting partners, we're really looking at who can be adaptable as we're working through it because we know in this environment it's quite challenging. So a partnership with Cognizant, with our own internal team and using GCP allowed us to build this clever architecture that allowed a federated model of a centralised data hub and individual divisional data hubs. So we needed a partner to trawl through 10 years of health and safety data, incidents, etc. I had a definitive deadline by June 30, the proof of concept pilot on an AI system predicting accidents before they happen. And we really lent on Cognizant. And now to this day, it's one of the leading AI proof of concepts that we're now productionizing that is industry leading globally. There were definitely moments of pressure. Our business units need to keep current with our customers and what the customer's needs were, and then our ability to be able to deliver on that promise and that need. And what we found was the joint problem solving between Cognizant, Google, ourselves, gave us that extra edge we needed to get to because none of us had the whole answer. We needed to bounce off each other. And the team themselves put in a massive effort. Like there was a call to arms at one stage, got the team rallied around again, made sure that we had the focus that was there to be able to deliver it. And we did deliver that outcome. As we continue to go along this journey, we get more advanced, we get quicker, we get faster, but more so the people that we put on these projects gain a sense of accomplishment. And then the knowledge they've been able to acquire through going through this process with Cognizant has been great. They can now know are very comfortable with the technology and are now able to support it themselves. At the macro level, we're seeing a lot more data coming through that is shared. And when we're looking across divisions, we're starting to get a bit of insight into buying patterns. We're starting to get insight into how often customers deal with us. That partnership and then being able to translate that to our business need, that's been a great win for me. Because then I can get the best of both worlds, the business outcome and, and the tech, and keep that in balance. The older you get, the wiser you get. And, you know, this is not my first transformation. And I would say, in line with one of Fletcher's values, is be bold. Back your judgment. Do what's right for the long term. You do have to make compromises for the short term, but the true CIO and the true leader is being bold and planning for the future. Mm -hmm.